Okay, so I have several expressions here that are written in words and they involve multiplication and division. And what we're going to do is we're going to translate these into algebraic expressions. So the first thing that we want to talk about is when it says a number. On one of the previous slides, what I told you was it doesn't matter what variable you choose. And again, that's true for this case. I don't care what letter you use. The other day I used N, so today I'm going to use X just to kind of change it up. So when I say twice a number, remember our math order of operations words, twice. Twice is where the operation is. That means times two. That means I'm going to take a number, whatever that number is going to be, and I'm going to multiply it by two because twice means times two. So I'm going to write 2x because that means 2 times whatever value x may be. Okay, next we have twice a number decreased by 6. So here we have two operations in the same problem. We have twice a number, so that means times 2. And then we have decreased by. In your vocabulary, decrease means subtraction. So let's write that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this twice a number. We just, on the previous problem, wrote twice a number as 2x. So let's write that down. And then we're going to decrease that by 6. So decrease means subtract, take away 6. If you break it down and just do one little piece at a time, it makes it a lot easier to deal with. Okay, next we have some division. We have the quotient of a number and 9. So quotient means divide. And then the word and, this is where your division sign goes. You have a couple of options here. When it comes to actually writing this down, you have x divided by with the division sign 9, okay? Or, I mean, that's what you're used to seeing. But now you're going to start seeing it written like this. I'm going to write the word or and then x divided by 9. That fraction bar represents division. So the division sign or write it as a fraction, that part doesn't matter. What matters is this. Division is not commutative. So a number divided by 9 is not the same as 9 divided by a number. So you have to be really careful about who goes in the numerator and who goes in the nom denominator, or who goes on the left side of the division sign and who goes on the right side. Whatever is written first, either goes first on that problem or it goes in the numerator if you write it as a fraction. You have to remember that part. All right, the last one, quotient. Quotient means divide again of 5 and a number. Okay, so that's where our division sign is going to go or that's where our fraction bar is going to go. This time you'll notice I have 5 divided by a number. So I'm either going to write 5 division sign with an X, or I'm going to write 5 in the numerator divided by X in the denominator. You just have to be careful on division, which one goes first. Multiplication technically is commutative, but you don't ever see, if I wrote this, X2, you don't usually see anything in multiplication written in this format, the coefficient, the number usually goes in the front, okay? That's all I have for this slide. Come back for another lesson.